Hey everybody, this is Mark from the Geek Church, and man, do I have a huge review with this. Yes, UAG, that stands for Urban Armor Gear, not Under Armor Gear. Not to be confused with that, because I kind of did that earlier this week when I was writing this. Anyway, we have so much here in this bag that we are going to review, and it's going to be a long one, but it'll be worth it, and we're going to uh, review all these one at a time, right after this. Okay, so without further ado, let's dig in this bag. Ooh, and this bag is another bag. Bagception. But essentially, this is the uh, Russian crossbody bag. And I'm gonna put it on right now. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that as I uh, get this in here. Okay, all right, so. Okay, make sure that snaps because I did a take of this before and while I was wearing it, it just popped right off. Don't be like that. Anyway, in the take, I uh, did this. I've got this front pocket here. Hold a bit of stuff to there. And this pocket here. And let's see, yeah. It'll zip up very nicely. You know, I think this would be a shoulder bag too, but I'm not really big on the shoulder stuff. And I might have to do some adjusting of the straps on that. Let's just uh, do something like this here. And let's see. Hmm. Okay, I probably need to adjust that. And honestly, I'm not a shoulder bag guy. Uh, some of you guys might have noticed this strap here. I'm not certain this is designed for this, but hey, I've shown you most of the uh, features that are on this thing. If you want this, it's available on the UAG site for $49.95. Okay, now let's see what we have next in this bag. Hey, it's this, the Lucent Power Kickstand. This is quite something, honestly. I had a chance to try this out earlier, and I'm just gonna unbox it just so you can see what's in it. Um, there really isn't much for the item itself and the charging cord, I believe. Um, so yeah, it comes like this. As you can see, it's got, it's the power kickstand for a reason, because it's got a little kickstand there. Okay, see that? Now, this is designed for MagSafe things, so it'll stick on there if you've got like an iPhone one of the newer ones at least. But if you've got any wireless charging thing, it does work. I tried it on my phone. I'd show it to you now, but I'm kind of using my phone to do the video so you can see my little shtick going on here. Now, as far as what else it comes with, as I said before, yeah, pretty much the charging cord. It's a USB-C type, and you can see the type here. If I hit this button there, it's got those Little lights down there that uh, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully, we're not washed out for some reason here. Now, I gotta check on getting some color in this room or something. Anyway, so yeah, it works out pretty well. If you like this, you can get it on the UAG site for about $59.95. And we're moving on. Okay, next we have oh, hello, uh, one of four that I can see Apple Watch straps that they gave me. In this case, it is the Civilian. Now, I believe we'll discuss the Civilian, or I, mean, I have discussed the Civilian as far as a UAG case is concerned. Very minimalistic design and stuff like that. You can read that article later or watch that video. In this case, the Civilian strap has this very silicone look to it. A lot of holes for some reason. I have no idea why they put so many darn holes in this thing. Although I have to admit, it does make it look more, I don't know, active? Is that the word I'm looking for? Actually, I have some straps here that'll make this watch look even less active. Uh, but it's definitely designed for those that are exercising. Are the holes so sweat can go through? Who knows? Anyway, if you like this, you can get this on the website for about uh, $49.95. And yes, I had to look that up because you can probably see how I'm doing this as of now, but I got a lot of products, so bear with me. Let's get to the next strap. Okay, let's check this out. This is an active strap, designed for the Apple Watch, and it's very decent. I believe I described my last strap, the Civilian, as active, but not as active as this. Let's just, uh, let me show it to you here, and I'll take it out so you can see it. Uh, yeah. Okay, this sucker 
are is for those that want that active sort of, hopefully the mic got that sound. This is of course a Velcro strap. Something that I haven't really seen on an Apple Watch. Normally they all come with buckles. Um, I'm not, okay. Oh, it's obviously a little bit more elastic. Get yourself to, oh yeah, it's very elastic. Shoot, this is actually super good. All right, there's the, let's see, hook tape, loop tape. I'm assuming these are the hooks. And then we got the loops here, or is it the other way around? I always get that mixed up. Anyway, it's Velcro, just like the astronauts use. You can get it on the um, UAG site for about $69.95. And for all types of Apple Watches. Let's move on. Okay, let's just take out the next one, the Scout wa uh, watch strap for the Apple Watch. And as you can see, it's silicone. It is beautiful silicone. Now, let me really give you a close-up view of that. So I'm not really certain what I can say other than the fact that it's silicone, but um, it is durable at least. And so it's also designed for those that kind of want to take their action outdoors. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's also antimicrobial, so hey, that's a good thing for you. If you like it, you can get on, on the UAG website for about $39.95. All right, let's move on to the next strap. And here it is, the NATO Echo, or N-A-T-O Echo. I'll let you decide how to pronounce that. Or Eco, NATO Eco. Anyway, it appears to be, oh yeah, honestly, uh, if you look at this thing and the pattern thereof, it feels designed for those more outdoorsy things. I feel like camping watch would probably be good. It's got this high strength R-PET nylon weave. I could be R-E-P-T uh, nylon weave. I don't know the terminology much. Please don't make fun of me in the comments because I don't know that sometimes because I see that a lot and it hurts. Anyway, so this is a lot of great material on here. And you know what? I forget how much this is. Let me just go to my little website here. Aha! $49.95 on the UAG website. And you can check it out for yourself. And I believe that's it for the straps. I believe what's in here now is cases. Let's get to them. Okay, now here's our first case. This is the Pathfinder. This particular one is for the uh, new iPhone 14. Uh, Pro Max, and let's see, oh, I got another white on white action going on. I really hope this doesn't come out as washed out as it looks uh, for me, but then again, I'm wearing glasses, so, hmm, let's see. Anyway, this is a super durable um, iPhone uh, case. Very, okay, some phones, some phone cases you get, they're very flexible or they're very hard. This one is actually quite hard. I would have to restrain myself to bend it, and yet it's very lightweight in its construction. As far as drop protection goes, it's good for 18 feet. That's pretty decent. And um, you can get the Pathfinder now for about $44.95 on the UAG site. And let's move on to the next case. All righty, let's check out the next, ooh, lovely case here. This is the Monarch like a ruler, like the ruler of all cases. Well, I don't know about that, but it's pretty darn good. Let's check it out. Okay, this particular one is made for the uh, iPhone 4, 14 Pro Max, and it's got some really nice design here. I don't really know how to describe this thing. Yeah, let's just give you a nice close up there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And as far as drops, it can survive 20 feet. So basically 20 of what I just did right there. So, and it's made of course with Kevlar. So can it withstand a bullet? Ping, 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 ping. Who knows, honestly, I don't have a gun. As you can see, I don't have an iPhone 14 Pro Max either. But hey, you see in the case, and if you like it, get it. It's about $79.95 on the UAG site. Highly recommend it if you need to go get it. I recommend all these products here, but now let's go on to our next case. Okay, so what else we got here? Well, this is the Metropolis LT. Um, hmm, I guess that stands for light. Not sure what makes it light, but it is a very intriguing case. To I'm going to give you a close up of this as good as I can. This material is very rough. It feels like a screen door, honestly. I mean, I'm guessing that's designed to really keep it in your hand and give you a nice good grip. Got a weird hexagonal design in here for the interior, 
of your uh, iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max. And it can survive drops of, whoa, 16 feet. Okay, maybe not as good as some of the others, but still pretty darn good. And I'm told that it's built with Kevlar, bing, 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 construction. So we've got some good superior uh, protection against fire power on that one. Anyway, you can get this for about, um, I think the price is uh, $59.95 on the UAG site. So check it out if you're into that. Anyway, moving on to the next case. All right, let's see what the next one is. Ah, that'd be the Monarch Pro. And so he is quite the pros of Monarch, and he is quite tough. He is also made with Kevlar, and I'm told there's like five layers of protection on this guy. Five layers, that's quite a bit. So I don't know if this is Kevlar here, this kind of screen door material that I talked about the last time I was talking about a film like this. Uh, dig the pattern though, check out that little hexagon kind of right in the middle. This is very unusual. I don't think I've seen really this type. And yeah, we just, just discussed a phone which was also called Monarch, uh, which had an entirely different pattern. Go backtrack it in the video if you don't believe me on that. But essentially, this can survive drops of 25 feet. That's pretty decent. And you can get it for about $19.95 on the UAG site. I recommend you do, because honestly, that might be the best case I've got here in this, in this sack full. But we'll see. Well, let's see, what should I get here? Scout, as an honor, I guess. All right, now this one is for the Google 7 uh, Pro. This is probably the only one I have here. That's for the uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro. But um, check it out, okay. Uh, very flexible, this one. So, um, and this is probably the lowest price I've gotten. this. And I'll just go ahead and say the price right now. It's about $29.99. Um, pretty, I wouldn't say minimalist thing, all looks like uh, done in one mold maybe. However, it can survive, it's drop tested. I'm not sure how far I can withstand it. Let's try it. Hmm. No, just kidding, okay. Um, basically, uh, hmm. that's odd, I don't really have any word for it. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a minimalist protection case, because if I know UAG, they tend to be made for maximum protection. So anyway, good price if you got a Google, uh, Pixel 7? That's my Google 1. I've been hearing a lot about the Google 7. I keep seeing all these ads for how it can magically erase stuff in your photos. Well, might as well get some protection on that guy. Right? Right. Okay, on to the next. Hmm. This one is interesting. Notice packaging is a lot different than the others with the plastic I have them. I believe this is supposed to be a biodegradable kind of thing, because it's made with biodegradable products. Good for the earth all together, isn't it? Well, Welcome to the Outback. As in, welcome to the Outback, eh? All right, okay, that was a bad Australian accent, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Um, check it out. Okay, it looks as green as it is. Okay, I don't know how to describe that. See how its color is green and it's also good for the environment? You see what I'm doing? A little wordplay there? Yeah, this Outback has it. Anyway, you can check it out right here and you can buy it on the website for about $39.95. If you're looking for this, what is this one for anyway? Okay, this one looks like it's also for the Pro Max, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so it's pretty decent. Anyway, moving on to the next uh, case. Okay, now let's check this out here. Now we have a part of the, um, I'm not sure how to describe this, but it's written like, uh, for some reason it's in brackets, and it's like you, uh, it's like, First bracket U, second bracket, end bracket U, I, I don't know what to say, you know, like quote, end quote, so bracket, end bracket, maybe. Anyway, so it's part of the U series, and this is the Lucent, or Lucent, uh, however you spell that word there. Uh, but let me give you a close up of the product itself. You can obviously see it's made from Maxis. And it has a nice, let's see, it's pretty tough exterior for something like this. I expected something like this to be a bit more loosey-goosey in its sort of texture, but it is a nice, definitely nice uh, phone case. This feels very light in my hand. It feels like it should be a lot heavier. But it's a decent product, and you can get it for about um, $49.95, and it can survive drops of about 16 feet. Not bad. So yeah, get that if you're interested. And let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, I'm going to do a, do a little two for one because as you might have guessed, I've actually looked at everything that's in this before. But I want to highlight the Plasma series. And they sent me two of these, so I feel obligated to highlight them. I think one is ice, which is the clear, and I think the other is gray. Um, but I'll double check on that. And uh, let's see, I'll take them both out here. Now, okay, these are particular ones are both made for the iPhone 14, the regular style, not the Pro Max or the Plus or the, uh, I think Pro? Uh, maybe Pro is the same size, but anyway. You can see this one, how clear it is, and hopefully you're getting the weird pattern on it. Okay, not, maybe weird isn't the thing, but unique is the thing. I've called this buckle in the past, and I'll say I can't, I don't really know any other word to describe it. I believe it's made to fit in the palm of your hand very well by design. They probably run this through a test. So, and here's the grayish one, or not sure, ash maybe? I think they might have said it like that. So, how much fall can it take? We're talking 16 feet. Yeah, that's pretty decent. And you can get it on the site right now for about $44.95. So, let's move on to the next one. Okay, looks like I get another two for one here. This is the part of the Bracket U Dot series. Check it out, I got them right here. One in white, one in black. Now, I'll check it out and I'll try and bring it closer so you can see it. I'm guessing it's called the Dot series as it describes its texture. See it right here, nice, nicely made, mm -hmm. super nicely made, nice safe compatible, very good to know. And I'll check out the other one too here, I'll just start her up, ooh nice, isn't that, okay, can you see that, can you get that kind of nice uh, texture-y kind of thing? Well it's there here, all right, and max safe compatible of course. So these are very decent and they cost about $49.95 each. And get them on the UAG site if you like them. And now we move on to, I believe, what is the final? Well, as it turns out, the last case in here isn't really a case, it's actually a screen protector. And specifically one made for the iPhone 14 or the 13. And uh, basically it's got some double strength and tempered glass, anti-reflective, also equipped with antimicrobial products here. Um, I'm not going to take this one out and show it to you because honestly it's a screen protector. Uh, there's no need to see them at all. I don't really have one of the, these phones. I'm not going to do a thing where I can actually put it on the phone. Uh, even though I wish I could, there's just so much more I can do. But hey, I want you to know UAG makes this. It exists. And I believe the price is about $39.99. So $39.99 for that. And I guess we're done with products, right? Yep, it looks like we're completely, uh, actually, funny thing, this actually counts. Yeah, they actually sell these things. Uh, they cost about $24.99. I wanted to highlight it because it was sent to me and I feel bad if I didn't. Uh, really, it's just a bag. And maybe that went with the strap that I had earlier. I don't know, but it's a bag, baby. I'm not really sure what else I can say about it. The fact it looks tough. And the price, you can get it for about $24.99 on the UAG website. Check it out if you're interested. Okay, are we done reviewing our UAG products? No, we're not. See this t-shirt they sent me? Yeah, it's got the Urban Armored Gear on it, upside down on the pocket. I don't know if that's a printing error or what, but dude, okay, I don't remember this price here, but here's the thing. I put this on my dog once and you can see it on Instagram. Uh, it's a great shot. I actually tried to put this on my dog. I thought about doing this bit where I was reviewing things with UAG or UA dog or something like that. That didn't really work out very well. Uh, so <laughs> maybe the lesson learned is don't put a t-shirt on a dog. One more thing I want to look at though. Yep, they sent me this hoodie as well. Uh, this is a pretty nice hoodie. You got the UAG logo. I'm going to turn around here so you can see the back. And since I can't really see that, how it works, I hopefully you guys got that in the shot. And this particular guy is $59.95. And yeah, he's got a little hood on him, so I'm gonna put it up right now. Oh yeah, I'm UAG guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, oh, this has been a lot, hasn't it? It's a lot of stuff here. And you should just go to the, if there's any takeaway you have, go to UAG and just get some of their stuff for the holidays. They're a great gift. Look, I got clothes, I got bags, I got cases, I got straps. I even had a mobile battery in the car. Wow, it's a lot, a lot here. 
Anyway, this has been one of my longer reviews, but it's Mark Rollins signing off.